After doing all this, I hope you enjoy your stay in the University of Cape Coast. Have fun. UCC is a university of competitive choice. You are going to learn everything. I mean, you are... When you get into UCC and spend a few months there, I tell you for a fact, you will be able to... You'll be able to survive in every form of every form of pressure. You will be able to survive. Hi there, welcome to my channel once again. So if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Or don't forget to like, don't forget to share, and don't forget to comment. I hope you are all doing well and we are all staying safe. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to just tell you that I love you. So this video is um, an educative one. Are you currently thinking of buying forms to the University of Cape Coast? Or have you bought the forms already? Well, I'm going to tell you the things you need to know and the things you need to do in this video so don't go anywhere stay tuned and let's get into the actual ish so let's say you have your admission i mean you've got the admission you've got the notice i think currently the bank you're supposed to pay your fees into or the bank you're supposed to i mean make payments of your fees to is stated in the admission letter yes so you just go to the bank and make the payments to the respective bank and you wait for at least 48 working hours to receive your index number or your registration number. So after waiting for at least 48 hours, that is two days to get your password and your registration number. That is what you are going to use to log into your student portal. I'm going to leave the link to the um, student portal in the description box and every student of University of Cape Coast has a student portal and the portal is solely for you 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 have your um, index number or your student ID or your re registration number and you have a unique password that's only you can use to log into yes so currently the um application of the whole registration system in the university of cape coast is done online i mean the biometric but when we went to school way back in 2016 everything was done manually where you would have to go to your hall of residence and just queue or wait in a long queue to get a room and all that but now it's not done that way when you enter your student portal when you log into your student portal that is where you will um Fill the necessary information about you, your profile, that, and that is where you are going to select a room. But first and foremost, I have a full video on the whole horse of residence. Almost all of the horse of residence on the University of Cape Coast campus and the hostels. So I'll leave the link to that one in the description box. So in case you are affiliated to a certain kind of hall and you want to know much about that hall, when you watch that video, you'll get more enlightened on that. So it is in the student portal that you are going to select your room. As I already said, everything is done online and biometric now. So you are going to select your room online. That is in your student portal. Once you get to University of Cape Coast, there is a full medical checkup that is done on you and it is very, very, it, it is by force. You are obliged to do it and you can't do it in any hospital apart from the university hospital. That is the um, University of Cape Coast Hospital. So again, you would have to print your registration forms and the medical forms. That is what she will use for the full medical checkup that will be done on you when you get to campus. There you will know your sickling status, your blood group, a whole lot. You do um, cardiovascular checkup. I mean, all those medical checkups that you didn't even know. Because me, there were many stuff I didn't know. But after doing the medical checkup, I got to know, yes. So as a first year student, you are expected to 
report on the set dates. Unlike their continuing students, that um, we choose to add our own number of days to it before coming to school or something. Because as a first year student, you have to report on the set date. Let's say it's on your um, admission letter that first year students are to report on the 10th. Please do so to report on the 10th. So that at least you can get there on time, get your room I mean, do everything that you are supposed to do so that you can have your peace of mind. Because if you delay at home, you might get stranded. And I mean, that is why the, the whole pressure from the university will get to you. Because UCC alone, UCC has its own special pressure, okay? So as a first year student and you have to go through all these stress just at the hall or getting um, a room or all that, I mean, you are not going to enjoy your stay in this school, so you are supposed to report on the set dates. When you are reporting to the school, make sure that you go with an original copy of your admission letter. Note, an original copy of your admission letter. Original copy of your school fees receipts. I mean, when you go pay it at a bank, the bank gives you a statement or a receipt. Make sure you make a photocopy for your own keep. But go to the school with the original copy. Go to the school with the original copy. As I said earlier that um, the selection of room is done online when you log into your student's portal. After selecting the room, please do, I mean, you have to print the room selection forms out. After printing them out, you can make a photocopy for your own use or for your own keep, but make sure you add the original form, I mean the original room selection form to the um, admission letter and all the other forms I've listed earlier to the school. Because it's the original room selection form that you're going to present to the whole administration for them to really know that you have selected that said room and then get you ready for your room. Because if you don't go with the room, I, I tell you for a fact, you will get stranded and you might not enjoy your stay there. So after taking all these necessary forms to the school, I mean, they get you ready for your room. People are always there to help you pack your stuff to your new room. Of course, you are going to meet other first year students. Of course, you are going to meet new roommates. You make friends with them. And it is highly possible that you are going to meet other continuing students because it's in, out, out, in. Yes, so you might meet final year students there or even final year students, even if not final year students, third year students, second year students and all that. Please do not disrespect anybody, but do not tolerate nonsense, okay? Try your best to keep up with a good attitude, keep up with, I mean... Try your best to, yes, just relax and enjoy the moments at the hall. Then make sure you read notice. At least every day when you are going out of the hall to anywhere, read the notice. There might be an important information there that you might need when you are coming in, read notice. And now let's get into the course, I mean your program of study, your department and all that. As I already said, school orientation is also necessary, just like the hall orientation. Because if you attend the school orientation, that is where you are going to meet your program mates, your course mates, and you might even meet some of your lecturers. Yes, and you get to know the department that you belong to. Let's say me, for instance, reading um, chemistry and physics. I got to know my department and that that very day i just wanted to go to the department to really see i mean you're a first year student you are naive you are nervous and all that because i'm the shy type and i do not want to i mean they say let's go i mean first year students should go to the department to print out something or to go get a uh home -huh. let me chip this one in after doing your course registrations as a first year student, you have to print the forms out. I mean, the course registration forms out. You take it to your department and get it endorsed.
for them to know that of course you've really registered for the course and you are ready to study it so when all this happened and i'm going to the department i'm like i really feel shy to go and ask someone please but it's not bad though but, but it's good you get to know things for yourself so that at least someone will not take advantage of you and all that because just put this at the back of your mind if you're a first year student all attempts to get you i mean all attempts to take advantage of you will really happen i mean it's there's a greater chance that someone will try to take advantage of you but just i mean have fun through the whole thing and enjoy the system you are really going to have fun so you go to your department and read notice from the department because every department has a notice board so you have to read to talk about safety i mean safety your personal safety hall safety classroom safety and all that outsiders also troop into the hall because the university community is a large one the university of cape coast community is a large one we have um people living in the surrounding communities around the universities coming in and out of the hall just like that even people come to ask for funds and all that so when even when you are indoors make sure that you lock your door to at least keep you safe or to at least save you from every form of drama yes and when you go to classroom when you are going to classroom we have shuttle i mean i mean the bus okay you can choose to pick the shuttle or you can choose to pick um a cab or a taxi but as a first year student i think it's good for you to pick the shuttle so that at least even if not to save money it will help you meet other new students you might meet your course mates your program mates and all that if you are in the hall whether you are going out or whether you are staying indoors please lock your door please lock your door because people come in to steal and all that because when i went when, when i went to first year we were just standing on the floor having some chit chat and all that and someone started complaining that someone just came into her room to to steal her laptop and all that so outsiders really come into the university community so you have to stay safe and when you go to their classroom too you might not know who you are going to surround yourself with just be i always have my handbag on my lap i mean i'm not saying someone is a thief but to save yourself from every form of drama you have to do that and keep yourself safe i hope you enjoy your stay in the university of cape coast after doing all this i hope you enjoy your stay in the university of cape coast have fun UCC is a university of competitive choice. You are going to learn everything. I mean, you are, when you get into UCC and spend a few months there, I tell you for a fact, you will be able to, you'll be able to survive in every form of, like every form of pressure. You will be able to survive in every form of pressure your emotions i mean you will get used to every form of emotions the happy the sad the nervous the anger i mean just have fun because you see it's a nice place to be with and i hope you enjoy your stay in the university of cape coast and lastly do not forget to subscribe to sewa to subscribe to judith sewa's channel low don't forget to subscribe to tiozi's channel i mean we are we, we we have really enjoyed our stay on the campus to be very honest and we hope you do too thank you also so much for watching and i'll leave the link to the um video on the host and hostels of residence in the university of cape coast i hope you love and enjoy this video see you on another one stay safe keep loving each other and i love you also so much congrats to us we got 2k I really appreciate you. Bye-bye. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.